Hey guys, it is Stevie and I am doing a voiceover if you can't tell. It did not record, but this is the unboxing for my Scarlet Lime Planner Society kit. So I wanted to show you guys all of the fun new goodies that I got this month and it was a good month for the Planner Society kit. So um, as you know, I believe these are $29.99 plus I have the washi kit in here and I will link everything below in the description box. So hopefully I'm about to open the box and show you the inside. Okay, so here we have what comes inside of the box. It always comes with these beautiful little pouches. And in my next video, I will show you how I use every single item in these boxes. It's absolutely amazing. I'm such a huge fan. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Um, always keep the baggies because you never know when you're going to use them or what you're going to use them for. This particular baggie is probably one of my favorites. I think the patterns from this kit are very awesome and very fall inspired. Um, this was the October box. This bag was probably my favorite. Um, I love wood grain and I love plaid and I think putting them together was amazing. And that is for the washi tape, which I believe is about $12 for three to four rolls. Um, I don't remember how many it is. And then in the big bag is where you always get your papers and your stamps and your extra goodies. So here are the washies that came with the washi add-on. This isn't the washi that's included in the kit. Most kits come with at least one or two rolls on their own. And then if you buy the washi kit, it comes with the additional three rolls, which I love. There's also a sticker add-on, which I haven't done yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to take the leap. These washies weren't my favorite patterns. Um, there's a green floral. I do like the blue plaid and then the orange stripes. And then the next little baggie is so beautiful. As I said, I love these papers. These, um, this baggie right here is a little bit too big to fit inside of my pocket dory. So that will probably go into my standard. Um, one thing that I do is I make sure to cut off the stickers. Don't try and peel them off because they will rip the bag. The adhesive that she uses on the stickers, it's pretty intense, but you can use unglue if you have unglue and that will take the sticker right off. Usually when I'm done with them, what I will do is I will either trim that area if I don't need it or I will use my um, hair dryer and I will just heat it up and it comes right off. So one of the add-ons here is this little pom-pom. Just have to fluff it up a little bit and that kind of gives it a little bit more um, dimension as you can see there. But I love this pom. I'm a big fan of these on my Kiki Ks actually. So this will probably go on one of my Kikis. But if you can't tell, I love it. So next we're going to look at the papers that come in the kit. These papers are amazing. These are what I make my dividers out of. I will usually put stickers on here or die cuts, 
but I love this. This particular pattern reminds me of the Orla Kylie stuff, but um, I think that's how you say her name. But wood and florals, those are my things. I love it. I love this blue paisley print. It almost looks kind of like denim. And then you have another wood grain um, on the back. The thing that I love about this is it makes your dividers nice and thin because it has a pattern on each side. Now this last one is probably my favorite. It has the plaid and wood grain. Sorry, I'm fiddling around with the papers here. It has the plaid and the wood grain. And then on the other side, it has the matching like green floral um, paper that matches the washi tape, which I actually really like it as the paper. I think I'm holding it upside down, but I really like that. I think it's gorgeous. And this is going to be perfect for Christmas time. So the next thing that I took out was the fun little fox clip. I absolutely love this fox clip. It's super cute, really well made, and I am such a sucker for all of the fox clips that come out around the fall. I think they're so cute. I love the patterned paper on, on it, so it actually matches. Um, one of the bags perfectly the bigger bag it matches really well So that way I can go ahead and I can just set it up and it will look really great with everything and I'm showing you the back because I noticed that it was actually a lot more durable Than most of the paper clips that I've seen I don't know if she adds plastic or an extra backing to it But it is really durable and here is the business card for the shop that made it I know that different shops contribute. I will also link this shop in the description box below. So here is the big item that she included in this month's kit. It's a sticker book for you to store all of your Planner Society kit stickers. And really you can fit most average size sticker sheets in here. But I have a ton of Planner Society kit stickers and I never really know where to put them and i am so excited about this i love the pattern on the inside and the outside it comes with plenty of sheets you can really put a ton in there especially if you put them back to back so really there is a ton of storage options especially if you're someone who got um, the actual sticker kit add-on as well so that's definitely an awesome thing it also matches the tiny little sticker kit or the tiny little sticker book that you got. Um, I think this was a couple months ago and I actually really like this. It fits all of the tiny little stickers and the tiny little headers perfectly in the small one. So that's just the bigger, bigger version of it. So this is the pouch that holds all of the planner stickers that come with the kit. Um, this isn't the add-on, but every single kit typically comes with one or two pages of Planner Society stickers that are really, really beautiful and they match perfectly. Of course, everything is so well curated with this box. That's probably why I think it's so worth the money. But I absolutely love these stickers. They're so perfect for fall and I'm going to use these all throughout November. So next we have my favorite item, and this is the little baggie of die cuts that comes in every kit. I love these. I think they're so perfect for journaling, and they make really great ephemera, and they're so decorative. And I actually probably prefer die cuts to stickers, just because they are much thicker in nature. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because I'm still going to show you how I use them. So next we have um, the pen that comes with it. I had a pretty difficult time getting it to focus this time around, so I kind of fiddled around a bit, but you can see that it matches perfectly um, with the papers that you got in the kit. And this one doesn't feel quite as nice as the other pens. It's a little bit thinner of a material, but it's still really beautiful. So next are the little cards that they have. These are really, really, really thick card stock. They're usually kind of like, um, kind of like laminated almost on one side. They're absolutely beautiful. If you look back on my setup videos, I use these in every setup. 
So next we have the sticky notes. Now this is actually what I saw that first made me so excited about this kit. This was one of the first sneak peeks that Christy showed. I love this. It's the wood stump with the flowers. It's very girly and very fall. So here we have the clear stamps, if my camera will focus. You guys, this is a brand new lens, which is why I was struggling so much throughout this video. I'm so sorry if things are a little bit blurry at parts, but um, these are the little stamps. There's always some little stamps, but the bottom right corner, that little circle with the flowers, I love those. So here we have the little tabs. These at first, when I first got the kit, I wasn't really into journaling, so I didn't really know what I would use them for. But lately with the Traveler's Notebook trend that's been out, I have really been enjoying using these. I'm glad that I saved all of them from the past kits and I didn't de-stash them, but you'll notice there are those white boxes now so you can put the word stickers and create tabs for your dory. It's absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that she did that because I use these non-stop. They're so amazing. So one thing I will say about the kit is there are puffy stickers every once in a while and I am not a puffy sticker type of person. I don't like the texture that it lends to my dories. I don't like that it makes it hard to write on them. I've tried using them on the outside and honestly puffy stickers are just not my jam. These will probably be going to my daughter. I know that's a little bit excessive because they're very nice stickers, but I know she'll love them and why not make her happy? So here we have the two rolls of washi that come with the kit. I actually really like these. I think I like them better than the add-on washies. I like the wood grain plaid up at the top and I love the floral on the bottom. I think they're really beautiful and that's what came in the kit this month. So here's a sneak peek of my brand new red dory. I call her Harley. It's from the Boho, it's a Boho dory from Boho Cottage. I will link her shop below. I think she's sold out of these, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna use all of that, um, all of the goodies that I just got from the Planner Society to turn this into my holiday dory. Where I'm gonna do all of my planning, all of my presents and gift cards and all of that type of stuff will all be noted in there, as well as all of my bucket lists. So stay tuned for the next video because I will be showing you how I'm gonna deck this bad boy out. Remember, I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.